Dearest Biodome Committee, I'm writing in regards to the apocalypse, or the end of days as the Bible calls it, and in regards to saving my life and the life of my family. I am fertile, so no worries there. See, here's my two-year-old. So I can help perpetuate humanity with my posterity as soon as this nuclear winter has warmed up a bit. My skills are in the theater and entertainment. So you might think we need practical skills for survival like scientists, soldiers, builders, farmers, and water purification experts, etc. But theater is a civilizing force that every community needs to stay functional. The Biodome community needs to have a communal experience outside the work environment that will add purpose to their lives. Participation in theater constructs relationships that are deeper than most entertainment. Theater is how my wife and I met. Ask yourself, when all the work is done, what will the nightlife in the Biodome be? Old movies? Old video games? Old board games? Yes, B-O-R-E-D, board games. People will want things that are new, creative, fresh, things that apply to them personally. This is where my expertise comes in. I will make theater that binds us together in this furnace of affliction, so civility doesn't get burned out. <laughs> okay. I will help build communities, commonalities, beliefs, common sense of what is right and good. Theater has been tested by the crucible of time and held out as an essential part of what keeps us humane and civil. For example, in the Poetics by Aristotle, there is a concept he calls catharsis that means a purging of emotions. No, no not that kind of purging. For everyone involved, it's almost medicinal. A theatrical probiotic, if you will. Good culture. <laughs> oh, my... Humor is lost on you. What we know of the Greeks is in large part due to the theater they produced. It preserves history and the beautiful stories of people that are still useful to learn from. Everyone has a story, but how is that story going to be told? How is it going to be remembered? During the Elizabethan era, Shakespeare, he took the stage. That is all that people will remember about that era. Good theater impacts people and has power to change them to the fore. Empathy for the figures on stage can entice people to action. To cite Shakespeare, Hamlet knew this as he laid the trap for his uncle Claudius by having the players perform the murder of Gonzago. Spoiler alert. The king was shaken to the bone with remorse, and Hamlet had the proof his uncle was guilty of killing his father. Hamlet used theater's power to move someone to his advantage. Brigham Young said, I realize that this world, being almost completely cut off from outside sources, similar to Provo, must of necessity provide the means for their cultural upliftment and entertainment. If I were placed on a cannibal island and charged with the task to civilize its people, I would straightway build theater for this cause for this purpose, for this magnanimous thing, for their cultural upliftment and entertainment. Can I eat you pretty, please? No, cannibalism is bad. Fine. Upon the stage of a theater can be represented in character, evil and its consequences. Good and its happy results and rewards, the weakness and follies of man, the magnanimity of virtue, and the greatness of truth. The stage can be made to aid the pulpit in impressing upon the minds of a community an enlightened sense of a virtuous life, also a proper horror of the enormity of sin and the dread of its consequences. The path of sin with its thorns and pitfalls can be revealed and how to shun it. This is the right place. The biodome gets to choose the culture that will cultivate humanity's future. As the biodome committee, you get to play the god at the climax of this world's apocalyptic tragedy. You, in essence, choose which heroes will live and which will die. You are the deus ex machina in the denouement of this dramatic decision. Please consider my theatrical experiences and expertise 
and save me from the clutches of destruction and imminent death. P.S. I have a family. I have a wife and daughter. Look at her, look at her, how beautiful she is. You don't want to see her swimming in a, in a sea of post-apocalyptic dust, do you? Till the end of her days. Please. I don't want to die. I have a bright future ahead of me. If Broadway hadn't just been blown up, you would have, you would have seen me in lights, in marquees. I would have been that guy. Oh, please, don't, don't do this to me. So in conclusion, uh, why not me?